So once the race is over, what happens to the cars in between the races? Once one race event is over, the cars then get shipped centrally by the series promoter onto the next venue. This ends up being a much more efficient way of shipping the cars en masse um, in between the races. This means that the teams don't get access to the cars back at their factories in between races. So how do the teams get to work on the cars? Well, the teams get the chance to work on the cars the day after uh, an event so they can make repairs and prepare for the next race. And then in the days before the next event, the teams then get again get access in the pits to the car to make further changes and prepare the car for that event. We've seen a lot of cars suffer gearbox problems and gain penalties. What is happening and what is being done to prevent this? The gearbox failures are mainly because of the cars hitting the walls. The cars are heavy and they slide a lot and obviously being a street circuit, the walls are in close proximity to the track, so there's a great risk of this happening. What the teams have done now is there's now a still reinforcing beam between the gearbox and the battery pack and this just prevents some of the misalignment happening in the gearbox which is causing the damage. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like, to subscribe to this channel and to leave your comments below.